Everyone, our March Makeover Madness continues with great ways to get a jump start on your gardening. So the, yeah, this mild weather has brought a lot um, yeah, of spring fever sure on has. for people, sure right? Has, yeah. But it's too early to start digging in the garden, right? It is, it yes. is, but that doesn't mean that you can't start your gardening projects a little bit early by starting off your seeds inside your home. Okay, um, so we didn't introduce you. Oh, <laughs> Rich Gladwin from Gladwin. Flower Jaws Home and Garden is here with Makeover Ideas to give you a head start. So, you, as you said, it's too early to get out there and it's start digging. It's too early digging. to get out there and start digging now, but you can definitely start seeds uh, inside your home okay. right now. And uh, to kind of fit into the Makeover Madness, mm -hmm. there's a couple different things you can do to make new containers out of different household items. All I've right. actually brought in some watering cans um, that we've actually drilled holes in the bottoms of uh, to kind of make a new container. All so right. you're recycling nice. an old item, making it over into something new. Um, to start off your seeds, uh, just a couple things that would help you get mm -hmm. going on it. Um, different kits that you can use would, would look stereotypically like this. Okay. Uh, it's just several cells with some soil in it, a little dome to keep humidity and moisture mm -hmm. in, uh, and literally you just kind of poke your seeds down into every individual cell. Cool. Um, best things to start right now are going to be your herbs and vegetables, uh, maybe even some of the more cold tolerant annuals like uh, pansies for instance. Okay. Um, Something that's great to do with the kids too. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. the kids, they, they love, Absolutely. They love doing that. Kid, you know? we did that. Yeah, and you don't even have to go, you could do it in just a little Dixie cup. There's a little sure. soil in there, poke it in, put it in the windowsill, and the kids can see the progress. It's always a um, good thing. Who didn't love that as a kid, right? Uh, Didn't you I used do to that? I love doing a garden yeah. 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 Um, so ideally, once once your seeds actually germinate, which for most mm -hmm. uh, early starting things can take, you know, two to three weeks, so be patient with right. it, keep everything moist. Um, you're going to end up with a little tray that has some little sprouts in it. Very so, nice. Uh, so what you'll end up doing is just pull it, and they'll be all bound and rooted in. Okay. You just end up taking one of these guys here, and you just want to pinch off just a little bit of straggle on them. All right. What that'll force them to do is to uh, produce more growth. Okay. However you'd like to arrange them, you just poke a finger into the soil. And put it in. All right, so let, let us try it, too. Yeah, sure. Let's lather, rinse, one. repeat oh, as oh, needed. Oh, oh, lather, rinse, yeah. repeat. All right, yeah. so I'm going to grab one of these. Tidy, this your thing? Can you do this for real? Listen, your... that's all my mother's department. And just I'm between trying. your thumb and forefinger, probably an inch or so up, you just grab that stem. How's this? Break it off, just the straggle. A little bit more? That should even that's be good. Okay, yep. so and then... then just poke a finger in the soil. A little aggressive, but that's all right. You're, 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 <laughs> she, she's she's ready. Ready. she is ready for spring. She's, ready for <laughs> she's spring. a little bit aggressive, but okay. <laughs> the, the soil now, went flying. Are, are there like neighborhood battles where like one guy says his garden is better than the other guy well, and they have garden beefs? Every yes. neighborhood <laughs> all over the country. You know, I love always, it. What do they call it? Uh, competing with the Joneses. Absolutely. You know, my like lawn's it. the best. My tomatoes are the that's best. That's right. My uh, flowers are the best. Get now on Mr. Jones by starting this early. That's so, right. That's uh, right. Are we looking tomatoes together? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and to get us jump start on on this, what do you recommend starting now for this kind of stuff? Starting now, just a basic container or an upgraded uh, item from around the house. Awesome. You want to use a seed starting soil. Yes. Once they've started to germinate in this container here, and you see the actual sprouts coming mm -hmm. up, you want to use a seed starting fertilizer to encourage root growth. Okay. Uh, once they've rooted into the individual cells, you then upgrade to your container here. That process that, that we just went through, and several weeks after that, you end up with your finished Beautiful. product. Well, Another thing you can do um, to kind of mark things off in case you forget what you planted, just using popsicle sticks, uh, label, this for instance has uh, parsley, sage, rosemary, and, and thyme in there. A little bit of everything, got you. A little bit of everything, and Got just poke you. that in there so you know what you're, good. Doing. what you're doing. Sounds good. Exactly. So Farmer John's Home and Gardens is located on Haggerty Road, just south of 12 Mile and Farmington Hills. For more information, check out their website, farmerjohnsgreenhouse.com. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You're you always giving me. us such great ideas. I love being Sorry here. Sorry for messing up the soil. No, it's all right. <laughs>